this part of the podcast, I believe George Janko on the George Janko Show podcast, he goes in and starts asking Cliff about smoking weed. This has been suggested to me by one of the subscribers on the channel, so shout out to you. But without further ado, let's yeah, hear it. So I, I'm very easy with a lot of things I could do. But for example, there's a lot of stuff I mess up on. And the problem with it is I don't listen to people around me to do what I do, right? I listen to my heart. But what happens if my heart's leading me in the bad direction? Mm. So taking that vertical up, marijuana. I, uh, I don't drink. I, I don't drink because I lose control of myself. And not okay. just me, everybody. If you go to the club, when you see people drink, I know this sounds, I might get clipped for this. When I see people at the club and drinking and stuff, I, I don't like being at clubs because I, I, I look like I'm with a lot of demons. Just doing it. Guys just looking to see who they could smash. Girls are just completely blacked out. They have boyfriends at home. Like, oh, when I'm around these things, I feel like my, my skin's about to explode into fire. So I'm like, okay, I don't like drinking out with people. It's just, they're not at their best quality state of mind, and I don't want to be a part of that. When I smoke weed, though, I'm giggly. I am stupid, but I do have a firm grasp of what's kind of going on here. Um, at night, I like to partake in one or two joints. Now, for you good men, I don't know if you know what that is, but it's <laughs> ripping a bong is grabbing a plant from God's earth, right? So uh, is it wrong for me to unwind afterwards and, and, and rip a bad boy? You know what I mean? Like a... Uh, Get as high as my God could possibly take me. Oh, man. my God. <laughs> let's, let's I'm going to ask it in let's a blasphemous see. way because I want to relate to other pagans like yeah. me. Okay? No, this is <laughs> such a good thing to, like, you know, to ask and to know. Well, I'm going to ask it the way let's that find I feel. Out. Listen, God created it. Yep. I just light it on fire and it acts me up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know, is it bad? And am I considered a drunken fool if I do this? It's That's such an interesting question because so I have relatives now, you know, CBD oil mm -hmm. and all it, it, it so it depends on the grade, right? Now I get pretty high, bro. You you go way further. <laughs> no, no, no. Exactly, CBD is what here, I right? take to calm me down, bro. Like I'm talking, <laughs> and just like I'm just sitting there watching, and then and then gluttony. Oh God, gluttony is such a bad thing. I got pizza and ice cream. Listen, do I think God's proud of me? No. <laughs> but is it something that's gonna cast me away into hell because I keep practicing it? Um, and I, I love it, man. I like smoking and chilling in my house. And I feel like it's more beneficial than me. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, a, that's true. do you get what I'm saying? And so yeah. I just, I'm trying to find my way into says. the acceptance of it. And if it's wrong, I'll try my best to stop it. And if it's right, <laughs> we're lighting one right now, baby. <laughs> we're going to get Cliff on it right now. First time ever. <laughs> He's going to jump off the cliff if he smokes what I have. <laughs> <laughs> Put him. Cliff, Cliff, he doesn't drink alcohol. He never has. But we got him on a boat once, and he thought Mike's hard lemonade was just lemonade. No. And he was just, no. when he hits you lemonade, he just goes. They said well, no. you know what? Jesus turned water hey, into wine. That's thank you. He turns up. And the gallons, the amount of that was supposed to be just insane. No, like, he, absolutely. No, no. Nah, nah. Like, people back the, in the day, they're like, yo, Jesus is here. We got <laughs> right, the good right, stuff. Right. Like. I don't know if that's bad. I'm sorry. I was trying to make a joke. All right, let's get to it. Uh, let's get to it. But wait, wait. Let, let me just say go, this go. one thing. I, it's of the earth. I'll, I'll let you take that. Boom. But, I, you know, I th I think it just gets to that point. It is healthier than alcohol, a lot of people say let's now. Let's go. Let's go. And so, I, you know, I've done some conch. Conch? Conch? Out of the shells in Costa Rica. You smoked? Well, you yeah, smoked? It's been a bit. Out of the shells in Costa Rica? Wow. I gotta move out of here. Maybe it'll be a little oh, consistent. No. We wouldn't be able to push back against it here. So. This is gonna get clipped. The whole church is gonna be like, you guys get stoned? <laughs> Yeah, you drew it Mike's heart? It's over for you guys. The internet's coming for you guys. So, Let's get to so it. It's the whole matter too. Well, something connected. DMT, psilocybin. Whoa, buddy. Whoa. It's whoa, fascinating. Where go? Have you, you seen, seen you it? Have you, have you seen that like 40% of hard atheists uh, became theists after these trips? 100%. Like, how do you explain that? Because it goes... And it's God using the, that? It, so even though I, it's so unhealthy? I, I agree. And I also... It's like... Okay, this what is... Are we, what are we doing okay, here? Now we're really I diving in. Trail. What are we this doing here? I explain it to my mom and dad, right? So first of all, just to let you know, I might be a pansy for this. But when I was about to smoke weed, I sat my parents down first. And I wanted to make sure it was okay with them. I was having a really hard time sleeping. I had insomnia. And the doctors are like, yo, let's pop pills like Whitney Houston. And I said, no, fam. I'm not okay with that. And my mom said, nah, uh smoke weed, but I'm not proud of it, but I'd rather you smoke weed than do drugs, like that. And I was like, okay. And then uh, I was smoking, and I, and I explained it this way. You have a hammer. You could either build a beautiful home with it, or you could kill people with it, right? It's how you use it. Um, 
mind you how I've been using it is not the right way. But <laughs> is this God's plan? And are we allowed to use it? Because isn't there a scripture? This is such a stoner scripture that like <laughs> I can't wait. That <laughs> if, if like every herb was for us or something like that. And that's yeah, the one I don't remember, by the way. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> I, I mean, it's cursed, by the way, right I now. Know, that was a curse. This is cheese. Keep it clean. Come on, buddy. <laughs> We're talking about God. Right, let's here. get to the Christian part. What's wrong with you? Just get, get my to ball the now. Just, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, okay, so what, what is your? Alrighty. All right. Finally. First point. Some people say okay. to me, "Well, God let's made it, so why don't you smoke it?" Well, yeah, God made poison ivy. Please don't, don't suck you on drink it, okay? It. Yeah. We live in a messed up world. Everything's been cursed. Everything's God created a good world, really good. But then when we rebelled against God, nature got cursed. Everything got cursed. We live in an unfair, messed up world. So we got to be mm. wise. We got to be shrewd. So, no, just because God made something doesn't mean I need to smoke it or suck on it. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I need to be wise. Second point. Ah, oh, Cliff, no, 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 no. There is no way you should be drinking alcohol. Whoa, whoa. The first miracle that Jesus performed was turning water into Coca-Cola. No. <laughs> no way. It but can we pin that real quick? <laughs> Wasn't that because he was honoring his mother and he was showing that you must honor your mother? Because, sure. Because he referenced mm. and he said, woman, it's not my time. Good point. Very, I like mm -hmm. the way you read the wow, scriptures, deep. George. That's awesome. All right. Mm -hmm. But but if it was about marijuana, I'd be leading you out. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> keep going. All right. So. Let's be real honest. There is nothing wrong with drinking wine. Jesus turned water into wine, so come on. But he did warn against drunkenness. So what is the definition of drunkenness? Good question. I mm. do not know. I've heard it defined so many different ways, it's incredible. <laughs> why would you lead me? I thought you had a magical answer, man. I was so like, let's go. But let me tell you why I don't drink. I don't drink because the guys I played ball with got her drunk, and then they did anything with her sexually they wanted to do. Mm. That's crass manipulation. Mm. That's using a person. Fair enough. That's why I don't drink. But I think, okay, you, you, you rock it up on the booze. It's not my thing. I like to smoke because I feel like I could at least, I know people that smoke and do their job. I have very bad ADHD, so it calms me down. Yeah. So I do look at it as a point that um, it, it relaxes me, it unwinds me, and I can fall asleep. But I also feel like it's a cop-out because I just want it. Yep. So I mm -hmm. wanted to know biblically what is the limit to marijuana, if right. it's okay, if it's not okay. If you do this one more time and you don't have the answer for it. <laughs> 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 All right. It's real simple. George has one body. Yes. You don't have a spare in the trunk. Mm-mm. Uh -uh. Your body is a beautiful gift from God. Amen. Mm. Take good care of it. Of course. Use the best science, the best medicine you can. Take good care of that body because you don't have a spare. Mm. And as a pastor, I have to sit beside the hospital beds of people who are dying from lung cancer, from smoking, cigarettes. Mm. Yeah. That's, that One has a lot of crap. One painful in way to go. Yeah. yeah. One painful way to go. Please, guys, don't smoke. Smoke cigarettes? Right. Don't yeah. smoke, or don't smoke anything that's going to harm your lungs. Does marijuana harm your lungs like that? A smoke. No, I don't think it does. Good. Great. It takes longer probably okay, to okay. harm oh, your lungs oh, than oh. cigarettes. It's smoke. Like What's that smoke talking about? Lungs. You can. Yeah. You can Well, yeah, just if I do cartwheels, it hurts my brain. But that's what he said. He's like, don't do anything that will hurt your body. It's well, but here's the thing. If I'm, okay, well, well, I'm not even trying to make excuses right now. What happens to the people that over, overwhelm themselves with thoughts at night? And they get anxiety. That doesn't so make hoes. is it worse for you to sit Come there with on, anxiety man. or for you Come to just on. smoke and watch Spongebob? A little wine for the stomach, Paul said. Right? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. It's a little. Yep. It's just a little relaxer. Mm -hmm. I wake up every day and I kill the day as hard as I can. But at night, I don't know how to shut up and sit down. I don't. I really don't. And I'm wired up and I just want to go run and I want to do stuff. And then I sit there staring at my ceiling. Come on, But if man. I smoke, I can unwind. I giggle a little this bit. I is, go to bed. And by the way, I don't know if this is... This is America and like UK or Europe. These, these are the problems people are struggling with. Like, I don't know. I have I have to smoke a... Come on, man. You Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. Stop. I'm saying it's, little, yep. it's just a little relaxer. Mm -hmm. I wake up every day and I kill the day as hard as I can. But at night, I don't know how to shut up and sit down. I, I don't. don't know how. I really don't. And I'm wired up and I just want to go run and I want to do stuff. And then I sit there staring at my ceiling. But if I smoke, I could unwind. I giggle a little bit. I go to bed. And by the way, I don't know if this is blasphemous, but I am. Oh, God, I really hope I don't get reamed for this. 
I enjoy reading the Bible when I'm a little stoned because I could focus a little bit more. Okay, good. So again, am I using that as an example for like, oh, I'm just trying to get away with it? <sighs> or is it like true? Because I know ball players, I know athletes, I know fighters that smoke weed every day. And yet their physical form of their body, like we were talking about, is in tremendous shape. Yeah, but they're Why? athletes. Because they're smoking it in a, in, in a volcano where it's, it's not smoking with a lighter. There's, you could eat it in a brownie. There's ways around it for it to be healthy. Cliff? Oh, yeah. That's you know true. what I'm saying? So, that's true. Okay. All right. And full transparency and vulner vulnerability for a second. Cliff has multiple sin bins of candy in, in his in his room, Sugar, that's in his saying. office, Cliff. like in, in the like, in like diabetes a is a serious thing, my I friend. I find them every now Let and then. Let me see your ankles. So now we're. All right, we're good. <laughs> so make sure. And that's unhealthy. So you know. That's it's... right. That's exactly but, right. Well, then to just to add to that, while <laughs> you answer it. Then what would be the difference between one glass of wine at night versus like yeah a few puffs? I could answer that. Point. I could answer that. Give it to her. One you're, it, one is like you're relaxing and you're vibing, and one's you're straight stupid and uncontrollable. No, one glass of wine doesn't do That's that. That's what to I'm you. saying. So, but if you drink a whole bottle of wine, I said one glass. Of wine. You yeah. act like a wild man. And by the way, wine is like biblically okay. So, so that's like, why don't even and, worry about wine. No, but that's why I'm giving the example. Because exactly, if I, even though it's biblically okay, if I drank a bottle of it, it wouldn't be okay. So if I had one glass of wine versus a little bit of weed. Yep. So question, if I, work, mm. if I wake up, work out, I have a great meal, I'm not eating sugar like this buddy old pal over here. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, yeah. I have a trainer, I'm, I'm, I'm focused on my work, I treat my loved ones with respect, but at yep. night I like to unwind, not with wine, because I don't like the way it tastes or makes me feel, yep. but I smoke a little bit and I unwind. Does this, is this something that God looks at? You guys like, let me you're, know. You're, you're just wild. Let me know in the like, comment no, section. That's, not, that's far from me. What are your thoughts? Because I, let me tell you something. I have so much anxiety because I truly, in my heart don't feel it to be wrong the only thing that drives me up the wall and makes me depressed is that i feel like i'm wronging the lord okay i do, do not, not <laughs> no. no come on but here's what here's what i do know okay you and i are more similar than you would imagine We're i wake up good looking <laughs> i wouldn't think about that you're good looking i know that <laughs> um i wake up at two or three in the morning and the thoughts are racing yeah and some of them are not good thoughts anxiety or whatever and i'm learning to meditate and meditation is a very biblical thing the psalmist meditated and so here's what i do what i would love for you to try and do start with the lord's prayer our father who is in heaven hallowed be your name and there my mind goes off somewhere else i gotta go back i force myself to go back and start and focus our father who is in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come, your will be done. And my mind's going Two. off another. I have to stop and go back. And I'm teaching myself to focus on Christ instead of focusing on my anxiety, my problems, my fears, the things that threaten me, my insecurities. Mm. And meditation is incredibly helpful. So the Lord's Prayer would be one example. Secondly, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. Mm. And that has a way of calming me down and reminding me it's the all-powerful mm. God who is the basis of my security in life, not my bank account, stock portfolio, or talents, or career, or whatever else. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. not using it to, uh, to like cure my anxiety or depression. Okay. I'm just strictly off of just unwinding and enjoying my time. That's the problem. Yeah. It's, it's not like I'm using it to be like, uh, oh, I'm really Notice honestly. I he's changing because he said I couldn't I, and I can't sleep. Remember earlier on, I, and I can't sleep and I have to. And now it's just, oh, I'm not using it. I'm just using it for X, Y, and Z. So that's already shifting. in life, not my bank account, stock portfolio, or talents, or career, or whatever else. Oh, I'm not using it to, uh, to like cure my anxiety or depression. Okay. Just strictly off of just unwinding and enjoying my time. That's the problem. Yeah. It's, it's not like I'm using it to be like, uh, oh, I'm really depressed. Honestly, I think I get more depressed while I'm high sometimes because I'm overthinking that it's wrong. And right. then I get anxiety from that. It's yeah. truly not. It's just an unwinding fact yeah. of I worked really hard today. Yeah. I'm just trying to kick my feet up and just unwind. And that's why I find it selfish. It's not a need that I want. It's truly a want. Yes. But I get jealous because people love wine. Yeah. And I don't love wine. Right. I love this. This is my avenue. Yep. Yeah. Why is it that this avenue is wrong and then this avenue is fair? Well, I think it's wonderful that you and your sister have great conversations on this topic. Always. <laughs> <laughs> Always. 
<laughs> you got a good sister there. She loves you, and it's beautiful to see. She gets high with me all the time. <laughs> She's like the Pharisee. She's Pharisee. She'll just act like she isn't sitting. Look at her. The difference is the amount, right? Like, that's the part that I worry about. I'm an overachiever, where Jess. It gets to the point where it's gluttonous, right? Like, it gets to the point where, like, your whole day. Okay, fine. It's a Monday. We have work the next day. There's no reason why we should be smoking two joints the day before and then we wake up groggy. We feel the effects. So the fact that, like, that's the part where I'm, I disagree. She's right. It's not just, oh, I'm just going to chill and hang out. No, it's the amount that we do. That's the problem that I, that's the problem that I, I can do. cool off with the amount that I have. Do you get what I'm you know what I mean? If I, if I had the green light <laughs> of, like, oh, fully... If I fully was like, okay, this is not a scent. I just got to monitor it better. I could definitely do that. Thanks for calling me out. <laughs> Jessica, whoever said not, tossed the first stone. <laughs> and you were throwing some rocks. <laughs> it's a glass house, my friend. Uh, she loves you. It's great to see. Bro. No, this is great. In the Middle Eastern house, if you're six years older than your sibling, it's another mom. Do you know how many times she's grounded me? Do you have any idea how weird it is for your sister? Like, that's it. No phone. That's amazing. I'm like, well, you can't do that. And then she pays for my phone bill, so she takes it away from me. And I'm like, okay, I don't even know what to do here. Oh, um, so we'll circle back. Maybe we rip a bong, we figure it out. Is that is that a scene? manifestation will come down? Yes, when we're doing it. <laughs> okay, so so just to circle, just to close this, just just close this chapter. Sugar is bad for you. Alcohol is bad for you. There's a lot of things bad for you. Is it like how you're monitoring in your life and you're not letting that substance or object overcome your Ooh. life? Mm-hmm. Well put. Moderation. Hey, oh, your boy getting high well tonight. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. Obviously, by the way, and this is true. Jessica can speak up. Reed can speak up. Bell can speak up. I always personally pull them aside. I go, "Hey, have you seen me drift off from marijuana?" As it pulled me away, and they'll, Reed will be the first one to be like, "Yeah, I think you know you don't. You're not a passionate. Or you, you wake up groggy." Bell would be like, "You're a little crankier." Jess is like, "You're stupid." And I'll be like, "Okay, cool." So like, I'll monitor. I'll ask, and I'll and I'll. And I'll weigh out their opinions, not because I care about what their opinions are, like I'm like worshiping their thoughts, but it's because I'm wise enough to know that they love me mm -hmm. and that they're going to push me in the right path. That's right. Mm -hmm. So I, I do I do hold myself accountable when I was smoking, even when I was like battling that, I would take 30 days off to make sure it's not a slaving me. But it's like, damn, bro, like I, I work so hard and I'm so passionate. I need something to unwind me. And I tried to get into cigars. I tried to get into cigars. I tried to get into wine. I tried to get into all this stuff, but it's just not me. And in my mind, I'm like, why am I forcing myself into this way? It's not organic. You know what I mean? We'll talk later. <laughs> we'll talk later after the podcast. What's good? So what's crazy for me is that genuinely you could see that his heart is telling him that it is wrong you could you could only you could just see it, that god is speaking to him that you know you shouldn't be doing this or you go overboard a bit so for me it's like well you have to play you have to use wisdom in a lot of this stuff when it comes to god's stuff the bible and so forth you need to have your wisdom and really try to submit as i said try to submit yourself to that wisdom use a lot of the proverbs wisdom that's embedded within the Bible. So, alcohol, for example. I've got some Christian friends. Oh, it's not that bad to, to drink. It's, it's not. Yes, no problem. But is it wise? Is the issue. If we understand humans are creatures of habits, as they often very, you know, very often say, then if you start drinking one, two, three, you know, you're not getting drunk is this can this become a habit and if it can become a habit can this lead to something that on a one day just one particular day that you you just happen to not be as strong or as wise you know as focused and you do a bit too much you end up getting drunk and you end up causing chaos or doing something that you shouldn't have done cheating on your wife cheating on your husband because you was drunk these are things that you can't just say sorry and then everything is fixed and that was what due to an error and what the devil likes to do is the devil the devil likes to get you at your weakest so he'll plan things out you know i normally do this so for example for him 
smoke a little joint and then you know but then he gets super super high or he does extra of it as you just heard you know heard him say then it now becomes into something else just like food is okay but if you eat way too much now it's gluttony do you see what i mean but if you if if you're just eating just below gluttony like you know i'm just you know i just eat a lot i just eat a lot eventually eating a lot turns into obesity so if you're not gauging it and you just oh yeah no i just you know i just smoke i just or i just drink every now and then it goes from it, it can go from one glass to two glass to three glass and before you know it it's now a habit and with the thing is with habits is once you do it once i've often always said one is best friends with two two is best friends with three three is best friend with four chain reaction it just carries on carries on so if you're genuinely wise you stay away from weed you stay away from alcohol you stay away from all of these things and by the way i'm talking from experience so i genuinely believe that it is not wise just like cliff said the law doesn't it doesn't say in the bible don't suck on um what poison ivy or poison poison okay poison it doesn't it doesn't say don't drink poison otherwise you will die but common sense wisdom is telling you maybe i shouldn't drink poison maybe i don't want to find out do you get what i mean so that's that but let, i'm interested let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below i'm genuinely genuinely interested what are your thoughts what do you guys think is it wrong is it right do you want to smoke do you all of these things let me know in the comment section down below what's your in the comment section down below destroy the like button the like button is needs some love okay destroy that like button destroy the subscribe button and join our community for entrepreneurs who want to become successful without losing christ very very important god bless you